Hi, what is going on guys, POG here and welcome to today's unboxing. Today we're going to go ahead and unbox the Xbox One 500GB uh, Choose Your Game Bundle, I'm assuming, or we get actually all those four games, I'm not too sure. So I already have all these three games, so if this comes with all those games, I only need the Forza 6. So that being said, you guys can have all the other three games. The first viewers who have Xbox One can go ahead and redeem the code and get themselves a $70 game for free. So anyways, since I already have this and this is like my fourth Xbox I'm getting, um, this is for my home theater entertainment system. I bought a Kinect to just use Netflix and all that kind of stuff and also have the ability to play a game if I feel like it on a big 120 inch projector screen. So looking at this, I also picked up this. It actually came with it for free. So really good um, deal. Like I don't really play this, but I'm just going to give it a shot because it was zero dollars. Why not? Right. Um, so here's the box in the front of the box. It says choose one. I hope it's not that way because I really want to give you guys something back. And, uh, you know, I really want the fours. Otherwise, I would have give it to you guys. But um, choose one. I hope it's not like that because I always bought the uh, one terabyte version and it always came with all of the games shown in the pictures. But this is my first time seeing it, choose one. Um, on the right side of the box, guys, we have this information right here that it comes with the Xbox One console, Xbox One wireless controller, high speed HDMI cable, one game download. God dang it! Oops. That sucks. Uh, one war. Uh, I'm, I can't even speak after seeing that. But one year limited warranty as well. Uh, wireless network comp compatibility. Um, on the top of the box, guys, it says that this one is also looks like plays Xbox 360 games. I believe not the older generation consoles play them. I don't know. Correct me if I'm if I'm wrong in the comments below. Um, on the back of the box, we have a looking cool TV, uh, which shows Gears of War, Forza 6, and the Tomb Raider, uh, the Rise of the Tomb Raider, and um, the Xbox One controller, which should uh, offer the 3.5mm jack, um, like the PlayStation 4 controller. And then looking on the other side, again, we get the stupid advertisement, choose one. I hope it's four. I don't. I can't wait to like you know look at the inside. But we already read that it says one download. But uh, full game download. So um, in the bottom, nothing much. But here it is. The trick. So this basically this covers it is a sleeve. So I'm assuming maybe Best Buy decided to put this on, uh, and the console inside there's actually four of the codes, which I'm actually dreaming of because I want to give something back to you guys, and this is the biggest chance. So getting this open, let's go ahead and cut this. Uh, Cut this part off because this is the only thing sticking to it, looks like. And then we can, dang it, why you do this to me? Anyway, with another seal, I have to cut like right over here somewhere. On this side, one second. Right here. Get out of here. Um, but yeah, actually, I have the tumor reader cover right here. Sorry about that, uh, if I went distance, but you can see right here, guys, this is the Tomb Raider cover. It's basically something like that, and Tomb Raider came with all these games, so that's why I don't really need the other games, because I already have them. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, throw that away, and let's get the sleeve off the freaking thing, throw this away. You can definitely hear that, didn't you? Um, and then here's the actual box. Looks like a day one release looking Xbox with a 500 gigabyte hard drive, except not the day one edition, not the black box. But um, it, it says right here that it uh, includes Xbox One console and, and HDMI and stuff. And I don't know if this is a glossy finish or is it like a jet bike, just like the PlayStation 4. Uh, but um, yeah, let's go ahead and open this up. And actually I can just open it up this way instead of cutting the seal. Uh, let me just do this real quick. That's not a good idea. Let's glue that back on because I ripped the green part off and I like to keep my box nice and neat. So let's go ahead and open this up like so. That's open. And guys, I'll tell you something really important, okay? When you open an Xbox box, be careful because these things have such a sharp edges. Trust me, I caught myself in the Tomb Raider unboxing. Um, but like you can see, look how sharp these stuff are. I don't know if you can see them. Like, look at this. Look how sharp these are. It's like you, you took a, a bread cutting knife and you put them on a box. Like, look at this sharpness. I know you can't see it because the camera is not that tall of a distance, but I can probably move it back a little and you guys can have a, a better view. But guys, this is super sharp. Then we open this up, guys, and we are welcomed with something like this, okay? Um, so, looking over, ow! Look at this, I almost cut myself. God dang it, box. What are you doing, Microsoft? You, this is kids friendly, okay? Why the hell do you make this box? Um, anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and actually put this box 
down and you know get into the oh my god look at these marks it's almost cutting me ah this is a danger box guys the, this is the dangerous box you ever meet um then we have this stuff here so i want to show you this part but uh do you see these uh two holes so you what you want to do is actually press down these holes and you grab this accessory box out okay um so we grab this off <laughs> not god damn it all right, we, we grab this off and I'm gonna put this box aside real quick. And um, hopefully you can actually see this box right here, but it opens up like this, okay? You just flip it off, then you open up this and voila, okay? So then you can actually take it out like this either. If you like, you can take this entire cover off, throw that thing away. Okay, moment of truth, people. Um, so we have choose a one game, uh, enter redemption code at xbox.com, name your game, and um, we have to just scratch this thing off in order to get it. Guys, I'll put, a, I, I'll put the code in the description if um, it gives me the options that I can download all of them together, but I'm assuming it's only going to be one and I'm going to be choosing the Forza 6. I, I really wanted to make this as a giveaway because this is like the best opportunity to give back to you guys, but... Um, God damn it, I'm pissed. Uh, but yeah, looking at this right now, we have the Xbox HDMI cable. I hate how these are not glossy anymore. They kind of feel not as quality as they used to. Back in with my other Xbox I purchased, it kind of started with the Tomb Raider. So I'm assuming this is going to be a matte finish. Um, and then right here, we have the power cable, just like this. We have this ugly looking power brick that actually makes noises because it has a fan in it. Super duper nice, not really. Um, then what we have here is, people, is we have Xbox One Quick Setup Guide, okay? Oh, there's a giveaway, guys. I don't need this, okay? Here's the code, enjoy the 14 day gold life. Unfortunately, you do have to be a new member in order to get this code. You have to have like a different Xbox account, so don't waste your time because it's not gonna let you to redeem it. And then we have like Xbox One warranty work. I didn't really purchase any warranty on this console. Uh, but anyways, looking over here, guys, we have the Xbox One controller. So this should be just my, like the Tomb Raider bundle, the holiday bundle, it should have 3.5 millimeter jack. Um, Okay, right here is the controller. We have the A button, B, Y, as well the X, and we have the menu button, uh, the split screen button, uh, the on button. On the back right here, we have the micro USB, is this what you call it? Then we have the sync button, Xbox badging right there, uh, and then obviously our awesome looking triggers, as well the D-pad. Um, not hating on PlayStation, also the vibrating triggers, awesome. And then, um, on the bottom, as you can see, we have a 3.5 millimeter jack as well as the regular earbud thing. Awesome. Not to forget batteries. Awesome batteries. But I'm not going to use that because I already have the um, charge and play kit. Um, it's off camera. I don't know where it is, but I do have that purchased separately. Um, okay. Now it's time to see if this is a glossy finish. I'm assuming it's not and I almost cut myself again. Let me know if you guys almost cut yourself, or actually you did cut yourself when you were unboxing your own Xbox One, if you have already done it. But damn, these edges are sharp. Uh, okay, so here's the Xbox One, okay? Nothing in the box, let's toss this killer away from us, because it's definitely scary. Then we have this, okay? Hopefully you can see that still. I'm gonna take this off real quick, all this foam. I think the console is actually upside down, unfortunately, so I'm gonna toss all these away clean up my room kind of thing just toss all this stuff away I just toss a battery away but yeah don't forget don't forget guys first viewer you need this take this code right now so um anyways toss those away and then we have this so we're gonna kind of rip this off because I'm really pissed at Microsoft we're only giving us one game like come on 500 gigs I can fit more than those games and you're giving me only one game which is weird why don't we get the entire collection like why why won't we you know um, so I, I'm thinking of this console is now costing a lot more money than if you purchased the one terabyte Tomb Raider bundle because you get uh, calculate the amount of money you get on those games, you know. So this console almost cost, um, I'd say, um, three hundred and fifty dollars compared to the four terabyte that will. Uh, I mean, not four terabyte. I'm sorry. Uh, compared to the one terabyte console that only uh, would be worth only two hundred something dollars because it comes with like five games and they're all expensive games. You know what I'm saying? 
Okay, so this is the bottom of the Xbox One. Hopefully you could see that. I'm gonna make this a bit closer so you can see it. So here's the back ports. Again, I got this for my home theater and it is the matte finish. Uh, so power cable goes right in there. This goes to your TV. This, if you have a TV set box, which I'm gonna plug it in there. And then this actually can be used if you wanna have a PS4, but you don't wanna play games with it because it's gonna be laggy. So um, then we have the USB ports. I'm not sure if these back ones are 3.0. Kinect, which I'm gonna be using as well. IR out and the internet port right there. Really nice looking guys. Matte finish, I love it. Just like my PlayStation 4. And then on the front, we have our slot disc in, as you can see. Uh, and these are still touch sensitive, so they're not like the PS4. They're not buttons anymore. They're not like buttons. And then again, touch sensitive LED lit um, uh, button right there. And then we have Xbox right here, as you can see. And then on the left side, we have the um, USB 3.0 port. Good news about Xbox One, guys. You can actually go ahead and plug in the... Um, Four terabyte hard drive and you can have a a lot of gigabytes of data uh, and but I mean like if I was you guys and I needed a, a, all the games you know I would have picked up a one terabyte but since this one is only gonna have two games maximum in it because it's gonna be used for Netflix streaming and a whole bunch of other stuff not really for gaming I recommend the one terabyte Tomb Raider bundle because literally you're paying 200 something dollars for that bundle okay hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video hope whoever is going to be using the 14 day trial is going to make him happy once again i'm pog subscribe guys like the video as well as share thank you peace